Hey gang, thank you so much for watching. Uh, welcome back to my channel. As always, subscribe if you want more content about what it's like to live as an expat in Lisbon, Portugal, as well as travel videos when we get a chance to travel, uh, which will be coming up soon, actually. Uh, I just did a video a few days ago on what I thought were overrated uh, tourist sites in Lisbon. Today, I'm going to go with three things I think that you should do if you have, let's say, uh, three or more days in Lisbon, uh, some things that you might want to consider that aren't necessarily on the, the top five or top ten lists. So first things first is Ajuda Palace. Uh, so I'm putting the name up on the screen, Ajuda, A-J-U-D-A -A, Palace. Um, a very stunning place once you get inside. Lots of sculptures outside, inside, um, beautiful architecture. Um, the rooms are done very nicely, not just with uh, contemporary art pieces uh, from the time uh, of the palace, but oftentimes they will have Portuguese artists, uh, contemporary artists that will, uh, or newer artists that will have artwork displayed in and throughout the palace. So as you're walking, you get the experience, the authentic feel of what the palace was like, but then you also get uh, side art exhibits, uh, sometimes in each room or in different common areas. So it's a really cool experience. It's pretty immersive that if you like um, something uh, like a vintage feel of what uh, Lisbon used to be like uh, centuries ago, uh, married with um, some new artistry uh, and sculptures, it's a very cool place, uh, and it's also something that doesn't show up on a lot of lists. I highly recommend uh, that you would go. It might take about an hour and a half to get through it, but I think at a leisurely pace you could do that, and I think that you would really enjoy the experience. So it's just uh, basically above Belém. So if you're doing the Monuments of the Discoveries, Geronimo's uh, uh, Monastery, uh, or a, the Bellum Tower, all of those, you might be able to walk uh, up from that, up the hill uh, to Ajuda Palace. Or if you start with Ajuda Palace, walk down and then get Belem out of the way afterwards. So that's number one. Number two is a park that's near us, so completely biased here, but uh, uh, Tapada das Necessidades. Uh, it is uh, several acres. They have a cactus garden, a botanical area, and in the southwest corner, uh, they have an entrance and an exit in that particular uh, spot. They have a duck pond and an area where there are dozens of peacocks. So I, for some reason, I'm enthralled with peacocks I, just because I don't see them often. And growing up in the Midwest, I did not see them in the U.S. So for me to be able to walk around and see so many just hanging out and walking around and keeping an eye on you. If you want to see peacocks um, uh, walking around, roaming on their own, I would highly recommend checking out this park. And there's not many people that go to this park. So you could literally have the place to yourself if you wanted to have a lunch, grab some wine and a baguette and just chill out um, and hang out with some, uh, some ducks and peacocks. I think it's a pretty cool place. Um, also not, uh, it's off the beaten path. It's certainly not something you're gonna see on a top 10 list. And then lastly, you may see on bigger sites like a TripAdvisor or whatnot, is sailing. Uh, doing anywhere from a two to four hour sailing tour or trip along the River Teju or the Tagus River. Think of it, you've got um, you know, five, 600 years ago, Henry the Navigator, Christopher Columbus, Magellan, Vasco da Gama, all sailing in and through Lisbon uh, to get to greater parts of the world. Uh, how cool would it be to be able to get on a sailboat and kind of experience some of the same feeling that uh, those explorers did? Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to a, a place that I recommend because I think that the, these people do a great job with sailing. We've done several trips with them and they are phenomenal that I think that you should reach out to them. And if you're coming to Lisbon and you're booking a sailing uh, a trip, um, whether it be a few hours or a day trip, I would highly recommend using them. So those are my three places that I think are a little more hidden or that I think that you should do. The Ajuda Palace, the Tapada das Necessitas uh, Park, 
and a sailing uh, with this company that I'll provide in the description. So hope you uh, take those to heart. I hope you can incorporate those into your next trip to Lisbon. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.